Hi, my name's Keith Loveless, and my son Tyler uh, and I build together. Uh, we build primarily Adobe construction. Hi, my name is Tyler Loveless. I'm a third generation builder. My grandfather, my father and I have been doing this in Taos for 35 years. Adobe construction is very unique to the Southwest. It has merits of being a masonry product, and so it has a cooling effect in the summer and it can absorb heat in the winter. In preparation for a building with the Adobe, the foundation has to be a little stronger than usual. The footing, it, it, we build a little bit oversized, and then the stem wall is solid concrete. The weight of an Adobe wall is a thousand pounds per linear foot if you include the snow load on the roof. In preparation of pouring the slab, plumbing and radiant floor heat will be laid, subgrade of concrete. Compaction is very important in this process. Before the first adobe brick is laid, we first have some preparation to do. We first stock all of our pallets of adobes on the interior on top of the slab. We have to place our corner posts, door frames, and run our string lines. So the adobe bricks are laid in mud mortar, it's actually crusher fines that we use, and we uh, mix them in the pile that the dump truck leaves them in with our bobcat. Uh, that way we can get a lot of mud right away. This particular house in the video is a small house, um, about 1,400 feet. It will take about 2,500 adobes. A pallet of adobes weighs a ton, and there are 75 adobes in that pallet. Gringo blocks are wood blocks that are incorporated into the wall system and they are used for attachment of door frames, window bucks, cabinets, partition walls. They're made out of a 4 by 10 material that's the same size as an adobe. You work your fingers to the bone, what do you get? Bony fingers! Each window and door in the house will take a header, which we call lintel. It's an 8 by 10 beam that is placed over to span the opening. The next step is that we form a bond beam around the entire perimeter of the house. Uh, it is a minimum of 6 inches deep and 10 inches wide. The purpose of the bond beam is to disperse the weight evenly over the adobe walls. Once the bomb beam has cured, the forms are stripped and the vigas are rolled up. The vigas are placed approximately 30 inches on center and shimmed to where there's a level surface to build the roof off of. The next step is to build a roof. We frame it in 2 by 6 material with a pitch of a half inch to a foot. The wiring is all put down underneath, uh, above the deck and below the roof and then it is blown full of fiberglass insulation before roofing. Bony fingers. Electrician and plumber will use a chipping hammer to channel out channels to place their wire and pipe. Bony fingers. Bony fingers. After the house is constructed, we put two inches of foam, it's an R11, on the outside of the building. It acts as a thermal break to the adobes. Once the house is wrapped in the paper, a stucco netting is nailed to the adobe. It's nailed through the two inch foam and into the adobe brick. Corners are covered with lath and the windows are wrapped with lath as well. At this point we bring in a plaster crew and they apply a first coat, it's called the scratch coat. Uh, then they put a fiberglass mesh, uh, embed it in that coat and then float a second coat on top of it which is described as the brown coat. That sits for several weeks. Once the plaster crew has finished the first coat on the outside, they jump inside to wire and prep for the interior plaster. On this particular house, the owners chose to use a mud plaster. The mud plaster sticks very well straight onto the adobe, so no 
felt paper is required. The recipes for mud plaster are highly guarded. Uh, we have access to a certain kind of a sugar sand that has a lot of mica in it. Then you use a lot of straw. After the plaster dries, we go back with a sponge and sponge out all the small cracks. It also acts to polish off the mica and the straw for the final surface. Once the plasters have finished the interior plaster, the brown coat has had a chance to cure for a couple weeks and it's time to now apply the stucco, which is the owner's choice of color. At this point, the home is structurally complete. Uh, of course, it needs tile and cabinets, countertops, etc.